Tabakrak was predominantly a Muslim area. Um, when we became a democracy country, we became diversity. So now we have got black, white, pink, green, yellow, you know, all types of people living. But we all get along quite well, we all respect each other. You know, when the Dutch and the British brought the slaves to Africa and the Val pulled these houses and he painted it all white. And the people that time got confused where the doctor lives, where the baker lives. If I want to go to the doctor, I walk in by the baker's house. So the doctor decided he's going to paint his door a different color so that the people can know where to go. And that is how it came. From a door it became to a hall and from a hall it became the whole house. But we as residents, we choose our own colors, whatever color we want to paint. So it became purple and white. And now I'm known on Google as the lady by the purple house. I was born and raised in South Africa. I come from a family who is in the food industry. Mostly the aunts, they cook for weddings, functions and things like that. And by stealing with the eye, that is how I've learned to cook. I was a nursery school teacher for 25 years and then my passion took over where the food is concerned. And that is how Cooking With Love was born. Where you learn to cook an interactive cooking class where you come and you learn and we cook with love. We spread the love. <laughs> <laughs> I've been cooking, teaching people, having fun with people. And you know, it's such a pleasure teaching people a little bit of our culture. Our tradition, the Cape Malay cuisine, the slaves came from Madagascar, India, Indonesia, Malaysia, and all those places from the East. When they came here, they decided to look like, if you are Java, I'm Malaysian, I say how you cook, you cook, okay, and we fuse that two together and that is how the Cape Malay cuisine was created. And ever since then, we cook more or less with the same amount um, type of spices they are using, but also we became more moderate in it. Sometimes I give cooking demonstrations and then sometimes I just get people that wants to come inside the house and can come have lunch or come have dinner or just sit down and, and chat. And for us, it's a pleasure. Here we go. Fun. Come, let's cook it. Enjoy it. You know, South Africans, they make you feel welcome. Pleasure. <laughs>